Vladimir Zhukov is probably one of the most influential architects of modern times. His work and research is utilized all over the world in many, in many areas of architecture and structural engineering. The structures that he created are easily recognizable because there was nothing like them at this time. His famous creation is the Zhukov Tower, which was built in the early 1920s during the Russian Civil War. On Zhukov's 110th birthday in 1963, the Soviet Union issued a postage stamp showing Zhukov and his tower. Vladimir Zhukov was born on August 28, 1953, and he was a Russian engineer polymath. Zhukov had shown mathematical promise since an early age. He graduated at St. Petersburg Gymnasium with distinction, and he is said to have demonstrated the proof of Pythagorean theorem to his classmates and teacher. He then attended the Imperial Moscow Technical School, where he graduated with distinction and a gold medal. He was offered a job as a lecturer at his university, but he decided to pursue a job in the industry. Shukov ended up going to Philadelphia to work in the Russian Pavilion at the World's Fair and to study the ins and outs of the American industry. During his stay in the U.S., Shukov came to know Alexander Bady, who, was, who also worked on the organization of the fair. When Shukov went back to Russia in 1877, he grew tired and frustrated with engineering standards and the boring routine of being an engineer, so he pursued a medical education in the Military Medical Academy of Russia. Barry convinced Shukov to work with him in a new company specializing in innovative engineering. They worked together until the October Revolution, which is when the Bolshevik overthrew the Tsarist autocracy, and that led to the foundation of the Soviet Union. His work with Bari is what led to the amazing innovations in engineering and beautiful architecture. Shukov's work is the physical embodiment of the Russian avant-garde movement. This was a time when people introduced ideas that were experimental, radical, or even unorthodox with respect to art, culture, and society. The man literally created his own mathematics in order to analyze the structures that he wanted to build. A great example of his work is the world-renowned Shukov Tower. It is a hyperboloid structure consisting of a series of hyperboloid sections stacked on one another to approximate an overall conical shape. Since the tower had a di diagrid structure, meaning that its beams intercrossing each other with nothing in between, wind resistance was greatly reduced since the air could go right through the structure. The original tower was meant to be 350 meters tall, but it was reduced to 160 meters since steel was in short supply because of the war. This was a true marvel of architecture as nothing of this nature had been manufactured beforehand. And I think this is the spirit of the avant-garde movement to experiment, to go against the norm, and to innovate. Shukov despised the current structural engineering norm, so he shook the whole field up. It is not hard to see his influence in buildings of modern times. For example, the British Museum in London. It employs the use of diagrid shell structure, which Shukov pioneered the maths to analyze. Also, it is very apparent in the Kobe Port Tower in Japan, which is a hyperboloid structure, much like Shukov's tower but one does not have to go far in order to appreciate his research and innovation. The Arctic train station in Anaheim has a diagrid shell structure for its roof, which without Shukov's work, it would have been structurally impossible to build.